a nice long par 4 to begin things. Into the wind as well. Thought it might be a par 5, but I am mistaken. That's exactly where it was aiming. Choking on the banana I just ate. That'll do. Don't know if it's good or bad, but we'll go hit it. Hey golfers, I'm here at Halifax GC and I'm going to try and break 70. I'm going to show you every single shot and I'm going to show you with my god awful golf clubs. First hole, I've, um, I've hit it through the fairway. Whoopsie daisy. But it's fine, just on a bit of a down slope. I've got 130 to the middle of the green, so I think that's the yardage I'm playing. Let's go with that. Ball's a tiny bit above my feet, and the wind is right to left, so. And the pin's front right. Beautiful. Yep, it's just drawing left of the flag, but it was a nice strike. No idea, it's on the green, I hope. I don't know how obvious it is on camera, but my God, is that a slopey green. Pin high though, a uh, huge amount to unpick here. Greens are very wet. I've not had a single practice putt and there's a lot of slope. It should be uphill and left to right, I'm guessing. Oh my goodness, they're um, sharper than I thought actually. And there was a lot more break. Good Lord, this is not what I wanted on one. I'm aiming outside the hole from two feet. Oh, that was treacherous. Nice part to start though, happy with that. All right, solid part to start. Short par three off the mat, no surprises there, it's very soggy. 115 yards it's playing, into the wind off the right this time, so probably a 50 degree gap wedge. And here it is, a mega old Callaway forged 50 degree. Couldn't even tell you when this was from, it's at least 15, 20 years old maybe. Just need to feather this and don't want to miss left by the looks of it. Struck well, but it looks short. Oh, it's not short. Well, I'll take it. Looks like it's pin high, but about 15 feet right. Back jizz. Lovely. Good sign. That's the second pin Heisman in a row. Still uphill. Quite a bit of right to left this time. I'm being mocked by a bird. Try not to welly this pass this time. Oh wow, that took some serious bobbles. But it's a tap in and I'm not going to complain. Don't need to be ruining my nerves at this stage. All right, solid couple of pars. Moving on to the third hole. I've got the big stick, old Kenneth. Here you are, an original tailor-made M2 from 2017. Just about says it all really. I'm just going to smack him up there and hope for the best. Wow, this is intimidating. I'm aiming at that block of trees up there. I'm just hitting it as hard as I can. And then I hit over the ravine to the right, I think. I've pulled it. I'm going to have so far in from there. Didn't see it down. Hoping it's fine. Let's go hit driver again. <laughs> I got no rollout. It's a long way home. I'm going to hit a seven iron. This might be a temporary green, so anything could happen here. I'll give you a rundown on the irons later. Hanging light into the wind off the left. So 25 feet left of that pin. And just be nice to this seven. Absolutely pured that. Um, I'm 30 yards left of the green. Well, that was like a tracer bullet, but in the wrong direction. I'm actually pin high though. Just a 52 degree. 
landing it a bit short, let it roll down, honestly. Not a scooby-doo what's going to happen to this. Well, I actually landed that where I wanted to, but it didn't react how I expected. Just a quick tidy up for par then. Bit of right to left and slow. Oh, it's somehow lipped out of the bucket. Okay, well, that's a bogey. Bit, where the hell has that gone? Disappointing to say the least on many fronts. However, we can get it back. Oh, this is such a bad idea. It's 263, or it's plain 263, downhill and slightly downwind over a ravine. So here goes nothing. Now, I don't imagine this is the way you're supposed to play this hole but never mind. I don't even need to absolutely smash this. I just need to hit it well. Well, I couldn't hit it any better. I don't know. It's definitely towards the fairway. Whether or not it's reached is a different matter. I was never in danger. I've carried by five yards from the path. Lovely stuff. I wouldn't say I've made life easy for myself. It's a long way uphill. 120 to the pin. But it's only 107 to get up there. So I'm hitting my 52 degree. Which incidentally is a tailor-made mill grind too. And one of the newer clubs in my bag. Goes about 110 yards. So it should carry to the green. Aiming just right of it at the tee box marker. Left looks horrific. I've struck it well. Sit. Oh my God. That looks rather big. Whoopsie daisy. Well, I've used the contours of the course to my advantage. I think it's rolled back down off this slope and giving me a putt at it. This is the third one of about 20 feet I've had. So maybe this will drop. Into the wind, slightly uphill. Bit of left to right at the very end, I think. That was not my best putt. However, that's a difficult hole I feel like. Played it in a very strange way, but a tapping par is fine. Birdies are coming, I promise. Puff of breeze into makes this harder. It's another split fairway. Having only played this course once, I don't really know where to go. And I've been pulling my driver where all the trouble is here. I'm just gonna aim in between. There's a tree and a path in front of me. I'm just gonna hit it in between those two. And then if I do that, I can't really complain. Well, I've kind of done that. It's fading just towards a tree. I think that's good, actually. But what do I know? <laughs> now, where's my tee gone? Just quietly. That is a stunning view behind me of the Calderdale Valley, I believe. Right. I've only got 130 to the flag, but it's into it and it's a bit uphill. So I'm going to chip a nine iron. Back to what I said earlier. Look at these bad boys. Ben Ross Rip Speed Tour. Couldn't even tell you how long I've had these. Seven years, maybe? And they were 200 quid brand new, so they're priceless now. Well, I navigated that daunting tee shot with a plum. Wind's in two off the right. So there's a tee marker to the right side of the green. I'm aiming at that. I'm just choking down on the nine iron in a nice way and I'm literally just going to try and chip it 135 yards. Clinging onto it, great for line. Now I don't know if I've just flown the green, otherwise it's quite good. Get my divot, it's a biggie. That, my fine feathered friends, is a golf shot. Desperately clinging onto the club face, but it's perfect now. Found my way to the top tier of the green that I didn't know existed. 
and now we have eight feet right to left for the bird. Turn. Da. Never really looked like it was going to turn enough. And another tapping par. Familiar. Not to worry. You should never complain about a par, and if you do, you're a silly sausage. The fun looking par for this, that ravine comes into play yet again. Just got the old helper hybrid. And this is a Callaway Big Bertha Heavenwood. 15 years old again. Hopefully does the trick here. Winds left to right. So I just need to aim at the left edge of the fairway and if it drifts back over, I've got a lot of room there. Sky ball, that's gone so high. Struck all right though. Yeah, it's in the fairway. Not quite what I envisaged for the hole, but we're in play. Right, it's almost the same shot as the last hole. It's just a chippy nine. Aiming just over this bush on the left centre of the green. Pins on the front right, so I don't want to mess with that too much. I've almost struck it too well again. Well, it's directly over the bush I was aiming at, but just didn't really turn on the breeze. But I'll take it. We've got a putt for birdie. More than happy with that approach. It would have been so easy to come up short and right there with the wind. So a putt for birdie is what it'll be. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but this is probably something people or your everyday golfer could really learn from is just to try and hit the middle of greens. Oh, it's pretty quick, but it wasn't that quick. Just took a bobble early doors. Should probably think this one through. Just inside left and firm is the way. Try not to overthink it. Right, still no birdies, but stick with me. They're coming, I hope. Right, I've got a short par three with a very naughty pin at the front right. Just a gap wedge though, it's the old faithful Callaway. As mats go, these are quite good. It's only 110 yards, but it's into the wind. So I'm just going to try and hold up a fade straight at this pin. I've done it, it's a tiny bit right of the flag. Bit of raz, stay on the green. Well, I'm below the hole, I think that's good. I have to go up there and find out. Some unwanted Raz offerings there, which is very unusual. I usually enjoy seeing a bit of spin. So we're just off the front edge, but it does leave us an uphill putt. It actually landed six or seven feet past pin high. But that's neither here nor there. Uphill and a bit of right to left. Don't leave it short or else we're doing 15 press-ups. Why would I say that? Oh, I've left it shot. Does that count? No. I'll do 10 for you. I feel like it would have snuck in, but I'm a man of questionable morals. I'll do it on the edge of the green. One, two. Hope you're all happy. My arms are now like jelly. Quick segue before I start the eighth. I'm interested to know what you guys think because I believe there's a common misconception about what scratch golf actually looks like. So I'm in and around the scratch golf space, shall we call it. But I regularly make birdies and bogeys and the odd absolute nightmare hole. And I think some people sort of expect you to be tour pro level. And I only hit the ball 260 with this bad boy, Kenneth. And I'm not an unbelievable player in any regard, to be honest. So let me know what you think, get into the comments. Now we've got the eighth hole. It's a left to right dog leg, but the wind is into off the left. And I've said that a lot. So I'm just gonna whack driver up the right hand side, try and find a fairway. Helicopter. Don't know why I did it. It was perfect. It just felt very savy. 
and I am a handsy golfer. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be... Okay, so sometimes things just work out. There was nothing great about that tee shot. It looked very unusual, but it's worked perfectly. I've got 105 to the middle, but it's into the wind significantly. So I've got old faithful gap wedge again, 50 degree. Just trying to land this 115 and try and get a bit of jizz. like that oh it's short and I've spun it back down the hill I hate life well I guess this is my first real test of short game and it did I'll take that I think I can get away with tapping in with the 56 degree sorry Tom oh my goodness what a disaster that would have been. Okie dokie. Last hole of the front nine. A somewhat drivable par four. It's downwind off the right, nearly fallen over. Just going to hammer driver, get as far down there as I can. No birdies as yet, just nothing's dropped with the flat stick. I've hit it well. It's just fading nicely back to the middle. Absolutely no idea where that's gone, aside from straight anyway. Woo! Annoyingly very questionable and squelchy pin here. It's a temp if that wasn't already obvious. However, it does provide me an opportunity to two putt for the bird. Well, I either one putt or two putt. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And we'll see you next week for part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely wellied that. Can I give myself this? It's so wet in there. Uh, goodbye.